Sorry for the confusion. Had a little Windows computer moment. Normally I use my good Linux computer for programming these, and this one here I hadn't rendered in the courtesy of giving them all the libraries. Most of the time if you buy one of our kits, it will have the software preloaded on the microcontroller. However, if you buy just a board or a bare bones kit and you're using your own microcontroller, you'll need to be able to deal with this. And all of the libraries that we're going to use for this device are on the website and where to get them. So just go ahead and download you a good Arduino IDE and get the libraries and add them to program files x86 Arduino slash libraries and then just paste them in there and the libraries will work. Or if you have a new neat one, you can go up here to the library manager and go select them. Anyhow, now we're going to upload this piece of software. And here's all the code that goes in there that makes them work. It's just so that you can see. Real fast, because this isn't really a finished product of it yet. And I don't want all the good coders to look at it and say, what was he thinking? And we're going to go ahead and download it into our microcontroller. And there's the lights blinking. He's getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it, and he's done. So now we'll unplug him from the computer. And we're going to take the LCD, and this is kind of a moment of truth, and we're going to set the LCD into the pinholes in the, in the board. And then I'm going to take this yellow wire nut, and I'm going to stuff it down between the LCD and the board, which is going to kind of wedge itself between the LCD and the board, which will temporarily attach the LCD by friction of his pins. And then I'm going to hook the board up to the computer that will give it power. And we're going to adjust the contrast. And hopefully we have some writing on our screen. Mode not set. Press enter for menu. And he says the time and date is 1 1 2000 and it's like 14 minutes into the day because that's when we put the battery in the clock was 14 minutes ago. And so now I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to set the time and date. And the current year is 2021. The up arrow button works and the down button works as well. So we're going to go up to 2021. One too many. We're going to hit the enter button. And the current month is 3. Enter. The current day is actually 2. And the hour is zero because we're 12 a.m. in the middle of the night. My wife's going to be mad because I'm out here making this video. And I'm going to say OK. And the current minute is one. Oh, two's good enough. All right, so now the device knows the time and the date. And you can see he's counting seconds, and we're going to hit enter again, and we're going to go, and we're going to set the latitude. Down here in Georgia, we're at about 32 or 33 degrees latitude. That way he'll know when the light will come on and off. If we're at zero degrees, he's going to be emulating the equator and then we're going to press enter for menu again and we're going to set our moisture control to zero because we haven't really got anything and it's already at zero and so we'll accept that that way he doesn't try to run the pump and then we're going to hit enter for menu again and we're going to go down and set the mode and we're going to say we're going to be in manual on and off. Boink. And right now if I press the enter button he'll toggle the lamp to on which would turn on the grow part of the light. He says and then if I hit it again 
then he's now he's in the viewing mode and if I press the button again he says off and now he just says on alright so our device probably works just fine next time we'll hook some lamps to it and see if it actually turns the lamps on after we solder our LCD down because everything appears to be just fine <laughs>